Baby's First Ultra. Good morning, YouTube! What's up, everybody? I hope you're safe and healthy and happy and doing okay. Today, for the first time ever since creating this YouTube channel, I am reviewing a shoe from Ultra. If I had a nickel for every time someone asked me why I haven't run in an Ultra shoe, why I haven't reviewed one yet, I could quit my day job and do YouTube full time. But unfortunately, that's not the case. The truth of the matter is that I just never really got into the zero drop thing. And that's why Ultra shoes just didn't get into my rotation. I didn't review any of them until right now. When I saw that they introduced their first shoe with a drop, a four millimeter drop here in the Ultra Ford Experience, I was like, okay, now it's time to see what Ultras are about. And I know some of you are gonna comment down below and say, well, that's cheating. You're not really trying a true Ultra shoe. Oh, well. I have about 15 miles in the Ultra Ford Experience. So today we're gonna talk about what I liked, what I didn't like, and uh, my first experience in a shoe by a brand that I've never tried before. But first, of course, you gotta watch the run footage. Before we get started today, I do want to let you know that this shoe was sent to me by Ultra. However, they're not going to see this video before you. They can't tell me what to say, and all my opinions are completely my own. Ultra is using a very simple mesh here for the construction of this upper. What I like so much about Ultra is what's intrigued me about them in the past is that they have a very nice wide toe box. You're still getting that here, and the material is breathable. If you go to the midfoot, it doesn't look like there's a ton in terms of overlays, but it does have some nice structure to it to keep the midfoot in place and the back, the heel counter, is also fairly sturdy to keep your ankle from rolling around. I'm really digging the way that this upper is constructed. I think it's simple. There's not a lot of bells and whistles, but that might be why I like it so much. It just works. Uh, like I said, I do really appreciate how wide the toe box is here. This is nothing new. This is ultra staple besides having zero drop shoes generally, uh, but Toe box was awesome, felt very comfortable. I have a narrow foot, so I was wondering how that would kind of play out, uh, but I had no issues with it. The tongue is padded, but it's not overkill. It's also not gusseted, but I didn't have any problems with it. It wasn't sliding around. And uh, with the laces, you can get a nice cinch down and lock down in the midfoot area. I also really liked how the ankle color was padded, but they didn't go nuts with that either. It's all just exactly what you need and nothing more. And I appreciate that because nowadays, Uppers can get kind of crazy with the overlays and the cushion and the padding, and that can sometimes mess up the fit for me. The overall feeling that I got about this shoe was that the fit of the upper was so great, and it just really worked for my foot. I didn't have any issues with hot spots, blisters, or irritation in this upper, so overall a really good experience up top here. Moving on down to the main event, the midsole. Ultra is using a compression molded EVA here for the forward experience shoe. It's full length, there's no pleats and fancy stuff here, just the EVA. And there's also a rocker technology that helps to roll the shoe forward and 
then gets you up into your next stride. So yes, the big talking point here is that this shoe is a four millimeter drop rather than zero, which is how Ultra usually constructs their shoes. Again, I have never run in a zero millimeter drop shoe. However, four millimeters is even a little bit on the low side for me. I usually like a five and up, uh, but I didn't have any issues here with this shoe in those terms. Usually I'll start to feel it in like my calves and maybe in my Achilles, but no real problems there. I didn't feel any pain or discomfort. What I like about this midsole is that it feels very smooth and you just roll into your next stride with that rocker tech. It's subtle, but it is there and it does help. It feels fairly nimble and lightweight and I, I always appreciate stuff like that when it comes to a daily trainer, something that I might wanna do some like easy pace miles with, but also maybe at the end of the run, I wanna do a couple strides or I wanna pick up the pace a bit. I think the versatility of the shoe is what's going to appeal to a lot of people. What I didn't really like about it was this midsole foam. The shoe is comfortable and it doesn't feel super firm underfoot, but you're not getting a ton of life or a ton of cushioning out of that midsole. I just feel like there could be something so much better here that would make this shoe like an absolute hit winner. Taking this out on my easy miles felt just fine. Again, it is a smooth ride despite not having a very exciting midsole foam, but I did wish for a little more forgiveness uh, towards the end of those runs. And I also did attempt some strides in this shoe. And I gotta say, it feels good for that because of how lightweight it is. Um, but I would love to have had more response from the foam. Stability wise, I think because of the wider forefoot, it did just fine. I do over pronate and maybe I did a little bit in this shoe, but it was not bad at all. I think the takeaway here for me is that the geometry of the shoe makes it a really smooth ride and you're going to have some protection from the road from that midsole, but it's just not going to be super exciting stuff. Moving on down to the outsole of the Ultra Forward Experience, we have some rubber in the forefoot there, some exposed midsole material in the midfoot, and then a little bit of rubber in the heel on the lateral side. I don't have much to complain about here for the outsole. I think it did its job. It was nice and grippy on the pavement. I actually took it out this morning and it was a little bit wetter outside. I didn't feel my feet slipping out from under me and the exposed midsole material seems to be holding up just fine. Uh, one thing about this shoe is that I overall think it's gonna be pretty durable. Tread pattern is holding up well and I think it's just gonna give you lots and lots of mileage. The Ultra Forward Experience is $140 on their website, which I feel like is pretty similar to the pricing of the other shoes that would be in this category. If you're interested in picking up your own pair of the Ultra Forward Experience, I will put a link in the description of this video. You can just click that and pick up your own pair. Keep in mind, this will be an affiliate link with Running Warehouse. However, it doesn't mean much for you. It just helps out my channel so I can keep making these videos. So overall, I mean, this shoe as a whole, for my very first ultra experience, ultra forward experience, uh, really was not a bad one. It's just the midsole foam that I think dampens the joy I feel when running in this shoe. I think, again, Ultra, if you are watching, uh, maybe for the next version, we can uh, up our foam game a little bit, maybe make it a bit more cushy, and then I think this would be like chef's kiss. Have you tried the Ultra Forward Experience? Are you a person who likes to run in Ultra shoes? Are you a person who doesn't like to run in Ultra shoes? Let me know in the comments down below. Well, everyone, that concludes this video on the Ultra forward experience. If you enjoyed it, please like it down below and subscribe. And when you're done with all that, hit the notifications bell so you can find out every time I upload a new video. I have another video for you next week, but in the meantime, get out there, get on the grind, and don't forget to run like heller. See you next time. How's it going? You wanna go outside? Wanna go outside? Mama's home. <gasps> go see!